Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we're doing a math drills tutorial video on St. Patrick's Day Cartesian art coordinates. For this tutorial, you're going to need to understand the following, how to plot each one of these coordinates. The way we do it is this. The first number in the coordinate is the x-coordinate, and if it's positive, that means we're going to move to the right, and if it's negative, that means we're going to move to the left. The second number after the comma, in this example, that's in the center of the uh, screen right now, is negative 20. That means we would go down 20 units because it's a negative y value. The first number is the x, the second number is the y. And if it's a positive y, we're going to go up. So if we look here at our first coordinate, we're going to have different lines here that we're going to connect all together. Each one of these is separate. You're not going to connect them all together. So for the first one is 12, negative 2. It's a positive x. That means I'm going to move to the right. And it's a negative y, which means I'm going to move down 12 units. So let's go ahead down to our coordinate plane. You'll notice I have here in blue, that's the y-axis. And in, in red, that's my x-axis, as I had in my little visual here. Okay, so the first point was 12, negative 2. So I'm going to go 12 to the right on the x-axis. That's the red one. And then I'm going to go down to negative 12, and that's the vertical axis. So I'm going to make that point right there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to find the next point. And the next point is 16, negative 5. Basically the same thing, just a little bit further down. And then I'm going to connect my line, and I'm going to keep doing that until I complete this whole thing. So I'm going to do this real fast. If you want to go ahead and follow along, that's great. You can pause, rewind, slow it down, whatever you need to. But I'm going to do this at hyperspeed. Let's get started. So you can see I've already finished three of the lines, and now I'm working on the fourth one. I'm done with the fourth one. On to the fifth one. And now I'm on to the last line that's going to put it all together. And that's it. That's my four-leaf clover just in time for St. Patrick's Day. If you want to color it, I would highly recommend it. I have a finished one right here. Makes it very cool. It would be great to hang up in the classroom or at home or on your refrigerator. Anyway, this was very fun to do. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment. I have tons of other videos like this, so make sure to check those out in my playlist. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.